today in a special second edition of Creality Corner. That's right, this week we are doing a double header. We are going to pit the Creality LD002H against the Creality Ender 3V2 and compare the quality in print of a miniature night model that we're printing in the FDM and resin model. Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivorous. So, in order to compare these two printers, we're going to have to use the same model. We'll compare some of the details. And you can see here I've brought up Chidu Box. That is going to be the slicer for the LD002H and the resin print. And I brought up the same little night model in Kira. That's going to be the slicer for the Ender 3v2 and our FDM process. So we're going to print both of these models. They are the exact same scale, so they'll be the same size. And we'll see what the time difference is and the plastic difference. Obviously, we're going to have to have some support. And I'm trying to print the best quality here that I can. So it may take a little bit longer on the FDM machine but we are printing with a raft in order to give us those good base layers to build upon and there will be tree support involved there. On the resin side, we are going to be using the standard supports that they add in. No raft or skate, but we will be hollowing out the model so it should go quite a bit faster and save us on quite a bit of plastic. We'll take these two and compare them at the end and you can decide for yourself which printer suits your purposes the best. This is a up close and personal shot of the resin printer we're using. This is the Creality LD002H, slightly larger build size than the LD002R, and we are looking at an estimated print time of around 2 hours and 24 minutes with this guy. So let's zoom over here. This is the Ender 3V2. This is the filament printer we're using. We are using Ender filament on this guy, as noted in the previous episode of Creality Corner. And we are estimating a print time with Kira on this print of one hour and six minutes. So, so far, time is definitely going to the FDM machine. Although, I will say this is a very small model. And over time, the larger the model gets, that will skew towards the resin printer as it prints by layer and not by line. So, let's jump on over to our slicers here. And here we can see a few other key differences between the two modeling types. When I say it prints in layer, I mean it's shooting this whole image through an LCD screen onto the bottom of the printer and forming it layer by layer. Each layer has an exposure time set here of two seconds. Two to four seconds is standard for the LD002H. It is a really, really fast printer. And Box is estimating that print time to be two hours and 24 minutes. I will say it will be slightly faster than that, but not too much. The model, when it comes out, is going to weigh approximately 4.2 grams. And keep in mind that is the exact same size as this model, which is going to weigh 8 grams. Now the 8 grams here does also include the support, but that 4 grams in Box includes support as well. The support here is a little bit more extensive, however, and I can show you when I process the layers that you're gonna see uh, at least a couple of grams in support. So probably a six gram model compared to 3.5, but that is mainly due to the fact that this model is completely hollowed out and this model will have 20% infill. We could fill it in 100% and it would weigh even more and inversely we could not hollow this model out and fill it completely and it would weigh even more. So the options are there to make the weight variable depending on which one you want whether you want a solid model or a hollow model or a model somewhere in between. You can't really necessarily do infill in chew box uh, unless your model is pre-built that way and in some cases it still doesn't pick it up. So uh, hollow or solid, those are your two choices. Although a hollow model from resin is pretty strong compared to even a somewhat infilled model from FDM. So we are going to get a close look at the difference of the slicing methods i showed you the layers each layer in kira is going to be printed in a machine code manner meaning that it has to actually draw the lines with the extruder head and that takes a little bit more time so even though we're getting an estimated print time of an hour and 60 minutes here 
that is printing at a relatively fast speed. Now I know this machine is capable of producing a quality model at that speed and it will slow down for particular features as it prints them, such as the infill printing at different speeds than the walls, but only time will tell which of these turns out to be the ultimate method for you. So we'll compare both models at the end and I think I'll show you to them with the support if I can. It's hard to remove the model from the bill plate sometimes without damaging the support on the resin machine, but we'll see what we can do there. And then we will remove that and I will get you a good close-up look of both of the models and show you the amount of detail that you get from a resin printer versus the FDM machine. And here we have the finished results, the final difference between the Creality Ender 3 version 2 and the Creality LD002H. So on the left here is the resin print here and on the right is the FDM print. And with the FDM print you can see the sword has some severe layer lining and staggering. That is because of printing a tall thin feature at high speed that tends to happen. But I do have some really nice detail on this model as well here if you look at the chest plate and the knee guards and down to even some places. Uh, you can see the chain mail on the legs, not quite as clearly or as well as you can see them on the resin model. This is the LD002H. This is a gorgeous resin print. And even with the supports removed, you can't really tell where they were. It is pretty much flawless. So you see the slit in the visor. You can see the sword doesn't have those telltale FDM stagger marks. And you can see that the armor is pretty much immaculate. Another thing I wanted to point out is if you look here on the FDM version you can see a partial hand there but it is not quite fully printed. It is a super small feature and with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle I had a hard time printing that but with the F uh, excuse me with the resin printed model it did come out pretty well perfect. It is a super small feature but that hand looks really really nice tucked in there holding the shield and I think this is the perfect evidence of why if you're doing miniatures especially a uh, resin printer like the LD002H is the perfect go-to for you. It is a little bit more cleanup, a little bit more of a mess, but you get a much higher quality object and I can go straight to painting this whereas this guy would need some finishing and probably a sanding down on that sword and it would lose a little bit of the profile. So this is a much faster process to get you right back into your game. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, and I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next episode of Creality Corner. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Pay no attention to the mess going on behind me. Pay more attention to the mess going on on my shirt. Check this out. Finally got the merch available. That's right, finally hit 10K, so the merch is finally here. Make sure you check out the Teespring merchandise bar below the video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe because we have more videos coming your way. In fact, I've thrown a couple of suggestions, videos for you to watch on the screen right now, so go ahead and check those out. When you get done, don't forget to pop over and check out the merchandise. There's plenty of stuff to see, and thanks for watching, guys.